students i am going to share the screen can you can you see the screen can you see the screen now i have shared it all right so students i am going to start the lecture and if you have any question please note it down and ask me in the end okay all right as you all know my name is ms maro and i am going to conduct your english class let's start today's lecture it's our lecture number 12 and we are going to study lesson number 5 and 6 of our literature book of our novel the adventures of tom sawyer It's okay Muhammad on now you are here it's okay Yes miss Afshin used to take your english classes so it's okay no problem Okay students as you all know we are doing the reading of the lessons in the physical or in person classes in this in this lecture i am going to explain the key points of the lessons all right so let's start with jackson's island walikum assalam ushna so the first part of this lesson is pirates you know what is the meaning of pirate pirate means sea robber okay pirates are the sea robbers yes excellent very nice ushna very good on pirates are sea robbers okay so i am going to discuss i am going to tell you the key points of the lesson so please listen to me very carefully tom thought that nobody in his family loved him he decided to run away from his home so it was tom's idea to run away from the home just because he used to think that nobody loved him okay Tom's friend Joe Harper was also very unhappy as he was beaten by his mother. He was also ready to run away with Tom. Joe's mother thought that he had drunk some cream although he said he had never tasted it and he knew nothing about it but his mother had beaten him anyway. so that's why joe was so unhappy the two boys decided to go to the jacksons island they decided to live there and be pirates tom and joe searched for huckleberry finn You know Huckleberry Finn was already a mischievous boy. He also agreed to go with them to the Jacksons Island. So the three boys arranged to meet at midnight 2 miles up river from the St Petersburg. It was a lonely spot on the river bank. So this so they decided to be at the lonely spot on the river bank. Okay, they arranged the meeting there. There was a small log raft which they used to get across the river. 
you know what is raft what is raft anyone excellent alina ushna on it is a piece of word used for floating okay yes abdullah very nice good so there was a small log raft which they used to get across the river they brought hooks and lines for fishing they also brought as much food as they can from their homes because they knew that they are going to stay there for a long time tom brought a boiled ham with him ham is the leg piece of pig's meat joe brought a side of bacon that weighed a lot bacon is the half of pig it does not include the sh the shoulders and legs okay so it was so heavy for joe to carry it and what about hug hug brought a saucepan and some tobacco the three boys pushed the raft into the water and started their adventure tom stood in the middle and gave the orders Huck and Joe had an O each, one at the front and other at the back. So on that raft, Tom was standing in the middle and he was giving orders. Whereas Huck and Joe were paddling. You know what is O? O is the paddle used for rowing the boat. Okay, so they were rowing the raft. An hour later, the three boys reached the Jackson Island. They kept their food sheltered by making a tent out of an old sail from the raft. They decided to keep. They decided to sleep outside in the open area. Please turn off your camera, Haya. Please turn off the video. Okay. So they keep the food in the shelter. Okay, in the tent that they made with a old sail. Okay. But they decided to sleep outside in the open area, just like good pirates do. They built a fire against a big log. and cooked bacon for their supper you know what is supper supper is the evening meal okay supper is the evening meal as uh, dinner is the night meal breakfast is the morning meal supper is the evening meal very nice alina good they decided that they would never go back home so they were having great time there because there was nobody to stop them that's why they were saying that they are not going to their home back huck asked tom what did pirates do tom said they go on ships and take the money then they take it to the island and bury in awful places you know what is awful awful means dreadful so they were having the discussion on pirates tom told hug that pirates do nothing they just go on the ship and steal the money then they take it with them to the island and bury it in dreadful places to keep it safe from the others okay the three boys talked about the pirates they thought about the things they had stolen each promised himself that he would never steal again 
Then they fell into a peaceful sleep. So they were, they were thinking about the things they had stolen and they were actually feeling sorry for that. And that's why they promised themselves not to steal again. And then they fell asleep. Someone has drowned. Drowned means died underwater. So next morning they woke up and ran to the river. Who woke up? The boys, okay. Joe cut some bacon and cooked with the fish for breakfast. After breakfast, the boys set off to see the island. After having the breakfast, they went to explore the island, okay? The island was about three miles long and a quarter of a mile wide. So they had a swim every hour. At the middle of the afternoon, they got back to their camp. They went to see the island. They went to explore the island after having breakfast in the morning. And when did they return? They returned at the middle of the afternoon, okay? Those who are giving me answer, thank you very much, students. That's really nice of you. All right. They were very hungry and had a good meal of cooked ham. They heard a strange noise far away. They hid behind some bushes near the water's edge. So they were having the meal. In the meanwhile, they heard a strange noise. So they run, they ran towards the bushes and they hid there just to see what is happening. A small ferry boat was going backwards and forwards. The boat was crowded with people. Ferry boat means the boat that carries passenger. Some white smoke burst from the ferry boat side. A noise like thunder was heard far away. Yes, you said that. Boat that carries passenger is called ferry boat. Correct answer. Good. Very nice. So they heard the strange noise and went to see what is happening there. What did they observe? They observed a small ferry boat and that boat was crowded with people and they also observed the white smoke that burst from the boat side. Tom said that somebody had been drowned. Huck said that they did it when last summer Billy Turner got drowned. They fired They fired a big gun over the water that made the body come to the top. Joe wished he would be over there. Huck wished to know who was he. A thought flashed through Tom's mind. Means, after discussing this, Tom had an idea. A, to a thought flashed through Tom's mind means... Tom had an idea, okay? He said he knew who was drowned, the three boys. 
the boys realized that people were missing them. So Tom had an idea of uh, spreading this news that the three boys, means Tom, Huck, and Joe, had drowned in the water. Okay, so this was the idea. Tom hears some news. The ferry boat went away and the pirates went back to their camp. They were very excited about all the trouble back at the village. Tom and Joe thought of the people at home. Huck and Joe went to sleep. Tom laid still and watched them. So what happened? After, after like few minutes, the ferry boat went away. And the pirates went back to their camp. They were actually very happy, very excited to know that they have already caused much trouble to the village. But Tom and Joe started thinking of the people at their home. So they started thinking about their family. Whereas Huck went to sleep and Joe followed him next. Tom was still awake. Tom did a strange thing and went home at night. Tom wanted to know what his Aunt Polly, his brother said, and his sister Mary were doing. Tom got into the house late at night without being seen. The family were in Aunt Polly's room and talking about the Tom. As it was late night, it was so dark. And how did Tom manage to reach his house? First of all, he had to swim. Then he took the ferry boat to reach the house, okay? Because the raft had floated away. So he managed to get into the house without being seen. Means nobody noticed him, okay? He wanted to see what is going on in his family. They thought that Tom was dead and they were very sad. Aunt Polly said there would be a funeral for the poor dead boys next Sunday. Tom did not like to hear about his own funeral. So Aunt Polly was actually planning the funeral means the burial ceremony of the dead boys next sunday and tom was not happy was not happy at all to hear this with his own ear that his own funeral is going to happen although he was alive he crept out of the house very quietly and went back to the island huck and joe were still sleeping and did not know about his long journey so when he returned to the island Huck and Joe were sleeping so they had no idea about Tom's journey okay Huck and Joe want to leave they wanted to leave the Jackson's Island okay Joe became homesick and was nearly in tears you know what is homesick I told you the meaning of homesick. Homesick means depressed due to long absence from home. Okay. People who cannot stay away from their homes for a long time have homesickness. Okay. Good. Yes, correct answer. Yes, Marusha. Very nice. Alina, good. Hibal, very good. I really like your answers. Iman Hasham, please turn off your camera. Very good on. Okay. So Huck was also very sad. Tom felt unhappy but tried not to show it. Joe and Huck were expressing their feelings that they were sad and they wanted to go back to their homes. But, 
but tom was hiding his feeling okay he was not expressing it tom had a secret and wanted to tell huck and joe if they did not cheer up tom said they would they would have been pirates on the island Tom said to look around and find a chest full of gold and silver. So Tom was trying to cheer up Joe and Huck. He wanted to stop them from going home. Okay, so he gave an idea to find a chest full of gold and silver. All right. Joe said he wanted to go home as it was so lonely there. Tom said, Joe, that he would feel better soon. Think about the fishing. Joe said he was not interested in fishing. He wanted to go home. Tom said that place was good for swimming. But Joe said he didn't care about anything. He was going home. Tom said that they would let Joe go to his home to his mother so tom was giving different ideas he first of all he gave an idea to find the chest full of treasure then he gave an idea for fishing and then for swimming but joe was not interested at all okay he was not liking any of the idea and he said that he didn't care about anything he wanted to go back to his home to his mother after hearing this tom started making fun of joe okay he started calling him cry babies and he said you are a baby you want to go to your home you want to see your mother so he started making fun of him joe said he would never speak to tom and moved away Tom said he himself and Huck would manage without Joe. Huck said he also wanted to go back as it was so lonely there. Tom said he would stay on the island alone. Huck said they would wait for Tom when they get to the shore. But you know what did Tom reply? Tom said, you'll have to wait a very long time. Means, he was not about to go back, okay? Huck and Joe were going back to their home and Tom was about to stay on the island alone, okay? The great secret the last part of this lesson is the great secret. You know what was the secret? Let's read it. Tom realized that it was very lonely and ran after his friends. He shouted to wait. He wanted to tell them something. Tom told him the secret that he went his home at night. He told them that his family was planning to arrange their funeral. Huck and Joe said that they would not have started to go home if they knew that. They went happily back to their camp. So, in order to stop them, in order to stop Huck and Joe, Tom told them the secret that he had gone to his home at night. And he told them that his family was planning to arrange their funeral. After hearing this, Huck and Joe decided not to go back to their home. And they said they would not have started going back to home if they knew that earlier. Okay. That night it poured with rain and the, there was a terrible storm. It was so bad that the boys had to hide in the tent until it was over. As the sun came out, they lay on the sand to dry. Huck and Joe began to feel homesick again. So after spending the night there, they started feeling homesick again. Tom did his best to cheer them up.
he was continuously trying to cheer them he was uh, trying to stop them he told them to remember their secret he told he got them interested in a new idea this was to be indians for a change not the pirates so he gave a new idea he gave a new idea and what was that to be indians for a change and not the pirates because they were living like pirates on the jackson's island and now they were about to live like a indian okay so we have discussed the main points of the lesson jackson's island i hope you have understood it now we are moving towards our lesson 6 the return okay varda good there was no happiness in the village everyone felt so sorry for the boys why they were feeling so sorry for the boys because they thought that they had died they had drowned in the water and they are no more with us becky was regretting for being so nasty with tom because she was thinking that she would never see tom again Becky who was Becky Becky was Tom's friend okay and she was missing Tom she was regretting for being so nasty with him okay because she was thinking that she is not going to see him again she wanted to tell him how sorry she was anyways the funeral of the boys began in the church the harper family and aunt polly sent and mary came to the church and the funeral began everyone was crying the minister prayed and then they all sang the hymn hymn is the poem in praise of god okay very nice varda you are enjoying it excellent suddenly everyone started at the everyone started to stare at the three dead boys tom huck and joe who began to march slowly up the aisle aisle is the passage okay aisle is the passway to the church so everyone stared they gazed at the three dead boys who were marching slowly up the aisle all right they were listening to their own funeral by hiding at the back of the church aunt polly mary and the harpers began to hug began to hug and kiss their loved ones they gave warm welcome to them so aunt polly mary and harbour's family gave warm welcome to their loved ones but there was no one for huck he began to move away but tom took him by arms and said to aunt polly that it's unfair there should be someone to be glad to see huck aunt polly hugged huck minister and the people began to thank god by singing the hymn when tom returned to the school he found the children talking about his adventure they were wishing they could have done it themselves tom had made friends with becky again and they began to live happily together until she went to constantinople with her friend, her parents okay now the trial the trial means the court case muff potter was about to be tried for the murder of dr robinson tom and huck were frightened 
they talked to each other to make sure that no one of them had discussed anything related to the murder they witnessed with anyone. They were afraid of Injun Joe, okay? They were afraid that if Injun Joe found out, they would not be alive for long. They promised each other not to disclose it to anyone. They were feeling sorry for Muff Potter because they thought that he would not get a chance to set free. Tommy started discussing that Muff Potter had always been kind to him. So they knew the real murderer but they decided not to disclose it because they were afraid of Injun Joe. They were also feeling sorry for Muff Potter because they knew that Muff Potter was innocent. They went to the small prison and gave Muff Potter some tobacco and matches. Muff Potter was so grateful to the boys and thanked them for not forgetting him like others. Muff Potter said that he did a very bad thing and now he's got to be punished. Tom was very unhappy to hear that because Tom knew that Muff Potter had done nothing. Injun Joe was the real murderer. It seemed that no one could prove that what Injun Joe had said was not true. And Muff Potter would be found guilty. Tom tells the truth. So Tom broke his promise and he told the truth just to save Muff Potter. Why a strange funeral? Okay, on very nice, uh, very nice question, Peter. It was a strange funeral because it was the funeral for the boys who were not dead, who were alive. That's why it was a strange funeral. Okay, funeral is the burial ceremony, right? It is arranged for the people who are dead, but these boys were still alive, and there was a funeral for them. That's why it is named as Strange Funeral. Okay, on. Tom tells the truth. Potter was brought in the courthouse. He looked so hopeless. Injun Joe was also there. The court began. One man told the court that he had seen Muff Potter washing in the river on the night of the murder. Another man proved that the knife had been found next to the dead body and the third man proved that the knife belonged to the porter. So everything was against Muff Porter. Then Tom was called to the witness stand. Muff Porter's liar began to ask him some questions. Tom told that he was in the graveyard on the 17th of June about the hour of the midnight. He was near the horse William's grave and he carried the dead cat with him to the graveyard. Then he told them everything that happened in the graveyard. He said that he saw the doctor hit Muff Potter with a piece of wood. Potter fell to the ground. Then Injun Joe picked up the Potter's knife stabbed him and ran away so he told them that Injun Joe was the real murderer okay Tom had to to had Tom had told the whole story to the lawyer one day prior to the trial Tom became hero by saving Porter's life by but you know his nights were terrible why his nights were terrible because he was so frightened that Injun Joe is now going to kill him too okay so we have finished our lesson the return to if you have any question you may ask me now this is the home task you have to fill the index first of all and then you will do the question answers and summary given in the home assignment sheet okay Apart from this, you have to prepare the topic adjectives. In adjectives, you have two topics, kinds of adjectives and degrees of adjectives, okay? So this is your home task for today. Now I'm giving you one minute to ask any question if you have.
Beta, you will be having your dictation today. I'm going to post it. Very nice, Iman. You are enjoying the story. Very good. On, I hope you're, uh, you have got the answer to your question. Beta, you have a dictation today, Alina. And I'm going to post it after the class. Okay, you have enjoyed the story. Very nice. Very good, Iman. Okay, Vita, the time is over now. See you with the next lecture. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz. Yes, we are going to meet on Monday, inshallah. All right, Vita. Allah Hafiz.